A heroin recovery program in Janesville appears to almost be working too well. It was organized by an officer with a unique approach. Now rehab centers are filled up and addicts are being put on waiting lists. But as NBC 15's Kate Pavish shows us, one group is stepping in to help. Bottom line is I do anything so you won't stick a needle in your arm. Last summer, Officer Brian Foster with Janesville Police started an unheard of method of helping heroin addicts. I was there and that was going to make it difficult for them to get heroin to overdose again. From following addicts to work to simply sitting outside their homes, Officer Foster was watching, making sure buying drugs would be difficult. Get away from me, cop. Um, you know, they didn't like it. But eventually, as they got dope sick, they would call me. Now, one year later, things have changed quite a bit. Overdoses and deaths are down 50 percent, and Officer Foster is getting calls all the time. I'm actually too busy to even go out and, and look for um, heroin addicts to help. They're coming to me now. But that's not the only change. If an addict calls me right now, back um, when I started this, I could make a phone call. Or I could get them into a, a facility within a week. I mean, days, sometimes that day. Now. Um, they're going on waiting lists for anywhere for two weeks to a couple months. Foster says an addict will always use again when facing that kind of weight and might not want help anymore by the time they can get in. He says some even contemplate suicide. They're bumming. They're, they're, they're dope sick. They're, they're hurting. After a few calls, Foster found a solution. We don't give it away. We can't keep it. Former addicts. You can relate to each other. Marv Wopad has been clean for 35 years thanks to Narcotics Anonymous and Alcoholics Anonymous. He says bringing addicts to meetings and keeping them clean while they wait for rehab has been a blessing. When you get someone new and you watch them change and you watch them become productive in society, that's what it's all about. Past addicts know what it takes to get clean and they know the damage they've done and so they can relate and it's just a really cool bond that they're that they form a partnership that's been nothing short of a miracle for those looking to get well with few options other than turning back to the needle you don't ever have to live that life again you don't ever have to go back to that giving hope to those that thought they were hopeless in Janesville Kate Pavish NBC 15 News Officer Foster says a big reason why the wait lists are so long is that addicts have found if they go, they can get a doctor to prescribe them Suboxone, the drug used to detox addicts. And he says Suboxone is being sold on the street just as much as heroin, since it will still get you high. He says many people in line ahead of those who really want to get help are not looking to get better, just to get the drugs.